tonight in Wyandotte. Coco. The organization Downriver for Veterans normally focuses on veterans, but they're now helping federal workers during the shutdown. They've actually seen a couple of federal workers walk through their doors here at the warehouse to ask for essential items during this time. And today they took on a big task to help, and they had help from the community as well. Get on, let's grab a couple more of these cases of Fago. The Down River for Veterans organization is on a new mission to help federal workers. Packing box after box with several essentials. Hygiene products, cleaning products, food, meat, groceries. It's an effort started by Lori Hall and Ann Rudiso to donate much needed items to the families of 33 Coast Guard officers. This is a great U.S. of A. You can't let people that aren't getting a paycheck go to work and go home and not be able to feed children. It's a serious problem for many now cash-strapped federal workers. Hall knows the struggle all too well. My son is also a federal employee who's on furlough, so it did hit close to home for me. She called local businesses and the warehouse is now filled with donations. This community has really done it. Damn. They have really pulled through. In a major way. The dozens of boxes were loaded onto a truck this morning. The packages were personally delivered to the Coast Guard Belle Isle Station. 33 families are going to eat. They're going to get gift cards, and we're not going away. It's one way the Downriver community is helping federal workers during the government shutdown that has no end in sight. And we want to tell you about another Downriver company that's helping federal workers at this time. It's called Electronic Brain Solutions in Wyandotte. And they're offering things like free IT management services, free cybersecurity services. And if federal workers are not located in Michigan, they're even helping federal workers remotely with computer support. And it's really just great to see all of these organizations come to help, come together to help these federal workers. Back to you.